It is done. Johnson is dead? No. He retreated when we destroyed the tea. Only to hatch some new scheme, I'm sure. You should have killed him. There was no need. <sighs> Time will tell if you speak the truth. Radun Hagedum! Radun Hagedum! Ganon Dokon, why are you here? Has something happened? William Johnson has returned with all the money required to buy our land. He meets with the elders as we speak. I have begged him to resist, but I fear he shall have his way unless you intervene. How is this possible? We destroyed the tea. The Templars are nothing if not resourceful. You should have heeded my warning. Please, you have to stop him. Of course. Can you tell me where they're meeting? Izi na ganya dara dit kanusu de ne Johnson si unja dara rockstar. Gua hi ganzi wat ne ganun hara dum hagedum. Ta gua der hara dum gua kanto.
I only wish to keep you safe. There are those who will betray and manipulate you. The worst yet, take the land by force. They will all do a world of expedition will do the same Peace! Peace! Have I not always been an advocate? Have I not always sought to protect you from harm? If you wish to protect us, then give us arms, muskets and horses that we might defend ourselves. War is not the answer. We remember, Stanwix. We remember you moved the borders. Even today your men dig up the land, showing no regard for those who live upon it. Your words are honeyed, but false. We are not here to negotiate, nor to sell. We are here to tell you and yours to leave these lands. So be it. I offered you an olive branch. And you knocked it from my hand. Perhaps you'll respond better to the sword. Are you threatening us? Yes. Oh, no. What have you done? Ensured an end to your schemes. You sought to claim these lands for the Templars. Aye, that we might protect them. Do you think that good King George lies awake at night, hoping that no harm comes to his native subjects? Or that the people of the city care one whit about them? Oh, sure. The colonists are happy to trade when they need food or shelter, or a bit of extra padding for their armies. But when the walls of the city constrict, when there's crops that need soil, when there's... when there's no more enemy to fight, we'll see how kind the people are then. The colonists have no quarrel with the Iroquois. Not yet. But they will. Tis the way of the world. In time, they'll turn. I... I could have stopped it. I could have saved you all. You speak of salvation, but you were killing them. Aye, because they would not listen. And so, it seems, neither will you. I was ne yate hagum sare am dahya yum ne skana se zagum haje.
William Johnson is dead, and with him, the Templar plot to steal the land of my people. But in ending this threat, I have revealed another. On his body was a letter addressed to John Pitcairn containing orders to root out and destroy Patriot weapons and supplies. Should he succeed in this, the colonists will be unable to maintain their resistance, and the Templars will surely take control. So long as Pitcairn lives, the danger remains. I need to find him. He needs to die. I thought it might bring clarity or instill a sense of accomplishment, but all I feel is regret. Hold fast to that. Such sacrifices must never come lightly. I had to do it. Not only for my people, but for all the others Johnson would have harmed. It's a start. But to truly be free of Templar influence, all of them must be dealt with in turn. Even your father... I know. You speak the words, but do you believe them? Seems we've company. What is it? A request for aid from Paul Revere. Seems the Redcoats are up to something in Boston. Guess you made an impression on the Sons of Liberty. They mistake me for one of their own. Please tell Mr. Revere he has my sympathies, but I cannot help at present. You might wish to reconsider. John Pitcairn is mentioned by name. Where am I to go? Mr. Revere's house in Boston. If you'd like, I can... Ah, Connor! What a relief! You came! <laughs> Allow me to... <laughs> to introduce you to William Dawes and Robert Newman. Your letter said John Pitcairn was here. Aye. He's readying an assault on Mexico, where Adams and Hancock have taken shelter. After that, he will march on Concord, hoping to destroy our weapons and supplies you must help us. Only tell me where to find him, and I will put a stop to this. He has dozens, if not hundreds, of soldiers at his command. You cannot hope to match him by yourself. But fear not, for you will not have to. We have an entire army of our own, merely awaiting the order to take up arms. Then you must call upon them. Indeed. You and I. Cross the Charles River and rouse the boys. William, I need you to take the overland route and do the same. Robert, I need you up in Christchurch. Light the signal. Two lanterns, our enemy comes by sea. No time for dawdling, my friend. We have lives to save. Come on.
Ah. They've only left a single horse. We'll have to ride together. Ah. You take the reins, I'll navigate. Quickly, Connor, get on the horse! I'll guide you towards those we need to alert. Follow my directions, and we'll be done in no time. Excellent! We are right on course! This way, Connor! Excellent! We are... Redcoats. What are they doing here? They must be scouts. Be careful, Connor. We mustn't let them warn the others. To the left, Connor! Yes! This is it! This is the way! Let us continue the search on foot. This is it! You have got the right place! Let everyone know that the regulars marked for Lexington and Concord! The British are coming! Back in the saddle, my friend! We have more people to warn! To the left, Connor! Excellent! We are right on course! Excellent! We are right on course! Be on the lookout for redcoats. To the left, Connor! Left! This way, Connor! Keep going! Left! Might be safer if we approach the houses on foot. This is it! You have got the right place! Spread the word. The regulars are coming out. At once! Connor. This 
way, Connor. Turn right. Ah, no. Turn around. Where we want to go is behind us. Let us continue the search on foot. This is it. You have got the right place. The regulars are coming. Here. We're here. Get them! Find a way to get rid of them, Connor. We need to lose them. Make sure none of them get away. That was much too close for comfort. Let us take care to avoid any further surprises. What are you doing? Find a way to get rid of them, Connor. To the left, Connor! We need to lose them. Find a way to get rid of them, Connor. That was much too close for comfort. Let us take care to avoid any further surprises. To the left, Connor! Yes! This is it! This is the way! This way, Connor! Keep going! Might be safer if we approach the houses on foot. This is it! You have got the right place! Where the devil is he? Are you sure we are in the right place? Oh, sure I'm sure. Prescott? Evening, gents. Listen, the regulars are out. You need to rally your men. And, uh, put on some trousers. At once.
Welcome to Lexington, Connor. Now let's find Hancock and Adams. Hmm. No sign of Dawes. I hope he's all right. Paul, Connor. Good to see you. You need to leave. The Redcoats are coming. Aye, so Williams told us. Let them conduct their little search. They'll find nothing. You don't understand. Pitcairn intends to kill you. I'm afraid it's true. I suppose we have no choice then but to go. What of you three? Dawes and I will continue on to Concord. Connor, it's best you stay here and help our man John Parker hold the town. It'll give us time to spread the word. your ground, men! <coughs> Don't fire! <coughs> Unless fired upon! But if they mean to have a war, let it begin here! <coughs> Pitcairn. Disperse, you damn rebels. Lay down your arms and disperse. What the deuce are you doing? Hold your position, Cravens! Traitors! They are not coming back. You will have to make do with those who remain. Don't you lecture me or not. Return fire! Return fire! You need to get to Concord and warn the others. Show this to whoever leads there. Should be a man by the name of James Barrett. Blood's been spilled in Lexington, and there's more to come. The regulars are on the march. You don't say. And why do you think I'm met up here? Go home, or you get yourself killed. Have enough to worry about without some green boy looking to play at hero. 
I can vouch for him. John Parker as well. Where's Revere? Captured. What? Fear not. That man's no stranger to sticky situations. He'll be fine. I'm sure of it. <clears throat> you ladies finished gossiping? Parker seems to believe you're not completely useless, so I suppose there's a thing or two you might be able to help with. When the fighting starts, we'll need to hold those positions there. They're critical to the defense of Concord. Good boys. Not used to soldier, and they need some with the experience to direct them. That's something you can do. You'd best be telling the truth. You have my word. Then I suppose all that's left to do is wait. Sir! Mount the barricades! No! Ensure my men hold those positions. If the Red Devils break through, we're finished. What would you have me do? Listen carefully. The Redcoats will form fire in the lines. Order the men to shoot just before the line is ready. Too soon and they'll miss their targets. Too late. And the enemy will open fire first. Understood. And if any of those bastards make it through, engage them. You must keep my men alive. Open fire. Prepare yourself. Hold fire. Fire now. Hold fire. Wait for my signal. Open fire. Prepare yourselves. Shoot! Wait for my signal. Fire! Hold fire! Fire! Prepare yourselves. Shoot! Signal. Wait for the signal. Open fire. Wait for the signal. Prepare yourselves. Open fire. Wait for my signal. For the signal. Go! Make ready. Shoot! Full 
It takes a true monster to do something like this. At least they're gone. I should have struck when I had the chance. Do you know where Pitcairn could have gone? Back into the withered bosom of the British, no doubt. So that he might regroup and plan his next atrocity. I need to find him. Every day I wait, more will suffer. Chin up, friend. Many who should have died today now live because of you. And, and what of them? We do the best we can with what we've got. It is not enough. Hmm. It never is. for the support of the glorious cause. I beg they will accept my most cordial thanks for this distinguished testimony of their approbation. But lest some unlucky event should happen, unfavorable to my reputation, I beg it may be remembered by every gentleman in the room that I, this day, declare with utmost sincerity I do not think myself equal to the command I am honored with. Truly, there as is pay, no man better sir, suited to the task. To assure really? The Congress that as I can no think of several. Consideration could have Charles me Lee. To have accepted this arduous employment at the Do I know you? I would not expect happiness. you to remember. <laughs> Come, Connor. To there's someone I want you to meet. I will keep an exact account of my expenses. Sorry to pull you away Those, like I that, doubt but not they will the last discharge, thing we need and is, that is the two all of you coming to blows. Now, Connor, allow me to introduce you to our newly appointed Commander-in-Chief, George Washington. Ah, so you're the one who saved Sam and John at Lexington. It was the Patriots who did that. I merely lent support. <laughs> as humble as he is brave, we could use more men like you. I'm sorry, but if you'll excuse me, I should attend to Charles over there. He looks none too happy about being passed over for command. It was good to meet you, Connor. Tell me you have news of Pitcairn. I'm told he's taken shelter in Boston, where he's guarded by a thousand redcoats. The only way you're gonna get at him is if we draw him out. Now, lucky for you, we're launching an offensive against the city in order to do just that. Israel Putnam has been given command of our forces. Present this to him and he'll provide whatever aid you require. You'll find him at the encampment on Bunker Hill. You have my thanks. No need. It's the least I could do. Pitcairn's a dangerous man. The sooner we're rid of him, the better. I would say the same of Charles Lee. Now that's an altogether different beast. Let us leave it for another day. Best you head to Boston, Connor.
Ja, Oma. And stay your bit. I'm looking for Israel Putnam. On whose orders? Samuel Adams. Follow me. This is not Bunker Hill. Aye, it's Briggs. There's been some disagreement as to where we should encamp. Any news from Boston? The Tories aren't moving. And any time we try to press them, we lose a dozen men. I think Putnam and the others plan to assemble artillery on these hills. A good shelling might make the Red Coast rethink their strategy. And what of John Pitcairn? That bastard's the cagiest of the bunch. He's appeared time to time to taunt us or send regards by way of cannon fire. It's all right, though. He'll have what's coming to him soon enough. Putnam's just up ahead. You can't miss it. I don't care much for your excuses, gentlemen. We should be building on Bunker Hill. Breeze is closer to the city, but it is also closer to their artillery! I risk my case. I'm going back to Bunker Hill! Good day, gentlemen! General Putnam. What? I'm looking for John. I was told you would be able to help me find him. He's stuck away inside that city with no reason to leave. As long as that ship continues its assault, we'll never flush him out. But if the ship was silenced... Oh, that would get off his arse and come forward. I shall fly this flag to signal my success. And I shall speak fondly of you at your funeral. 